Okay, welcome back for another short video with fun with math. So in this video, I want to look at weighted GPA. Now, for all of those who are in college, like most of my students in college, um, you can actually calculate your GPAs on your own, kind of using this method. Um, what you need to base, what you need to know in order to do it is you need to know the scale that your school is being used. So most schools use a four-point weighted scale, but some use five. You just need to know for sure. And the reason you need to know is because that assigns the point values to your grades. So a four-point scale essentially um, says this: that A is worth four points. B's are 3, C's are 2, D's are 1, F is 0. And then in order to find your weighted GPA, you just simply need to follow this idea, which says the first thing you need to do is you have to be able to calculate the number of credit hours that were attempted. After you do that, you need to find the number of grade points that were earned. And finally, you find the weighted GPA. So your weighted GPA is essentially where you are going to find the sum of your credit hours, or the sum of the grade points earned from your credit hours divided by the sum of your credit hours. So this crazy little E means the sum of, okay? And so this is how it works in a nutshell. Let's say, for example, that this is the weighted GPA set that I have. So I'm a student and I took these courses. So I took a course worth five credit hours, four credit hours, three credit hours, and another five credit hours. So I kind of took a lot, but that's okay. And so here, notice in my first five credit hour course, I earned an A. In the second one, I earned a C. In my three credit course, I earned an F shame on me, and in my five credit course I earned a B. So the first thing that I have to do is I need to know my total credit hours. So you get that by summing up the columns. So my total credit hours is essentially going to be 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 5. So 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 4 is 14, plus 3 is 17. So I took 17 credit hours over Achiever Me. Now the next thing that you need to do is you have to do what's called calculate your total grade points. So we need to find, so this was the first thing, so the second thing is we need to find the total grade points. So the way that we do that, or find your total grade points, is we have to figure out how much each grade was worth. Okay. So for example, when we're looking at an A, what we have to do is we have to take your credit hours and multiply that by the points earned. So the points earned comes from this grade scale. So an A earns you four points. So we have to take the credit hours, so I took five credit hours, so this is five, times the points earned, which would be four. When I multiply that together, that is going to give me the total points that I earned for that class, 20. We gotta repeat that process for all other letter grades that we have here. So I have a C, I have an F, I have a B, and then notice I did not earn a D. So we have all of them. You, it's a good idea to calculate all of them. So for my C, I need to do credit hours. So this would be four times the points earned. So up here, I only earned two points for a C. So this is times two is gonna give me a total of eight. Uh, for my F, I attempted three credit hours. The F earns you nothing. 
So times zero gives me zero. And then my B, I attempted five credit hours. B's earn you three points. So this is times three gives you 15. And then D's are zero credit hours. Obviously D's earn you one point, so times one, but zero times anything is zero. Now to find the total says we have to sum it all together. So here to find the total says I have to do my 20 plus the 8 plus the 0 plus the 15 plus the 0. And so this here is going to give you 43 points. Okay. And then this was hours. So in order to find your weighted GPA, which is the last thing, your weighted GPA is going to be your total points divided by your total credit hours. So in this case, my total points was 43. My total credit hours was 17. So I would go ahead and I would use um, your four function calculator. And so here we've got my total points of 43 divided by my credit hours of 17. And so here we're going to get 2.5. 529. And when we're looking at them, you always want to look and see if it tells you where to round to. And in this case, it does. It says nearest tenth. Nearest tenth is that first spot. Look at the one next to it is a 2. 2 is less than 5. So your weighted GPA is 2.5. And that is your response or your GPA. So the E's, again, remember all you need to do is you need to find your total credit hours. You need to find the total possible points that were earned. You divide those two with each other and that gives you a weighted GPA. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, um, be sure to keep smiling, have tons of fun, make sure you relax, and as always, I'll see you next time.